Hi there, welcome back to the channel. We're on again with the coffee van restoration project, the Peugeot J9. Now, in this video today, we're on this side. This is the, the cupboard, the internals. We're gonna be building all of that and getting that sorted. Also, we're gonna be starting the electrics. We're gonna start where we left off in the last video, where I'm cutting up all the internal panels. So each of these cupboards is all sealed with the uh, internal framework, and we're gonna box it all in. Let's crack on with that one. Straight away then, we're gonna get on the, uh, on the cutter again, chopping up some of this aluminium. We've got to get it right. We need to get these square scribed in at the back. Here we go. Got to take out these little noggins on the corner so they can fit around the box section. And then where we've scribed it down the back there, we can chop that and hopefully get it to fit in nicely. So down in this cupboard here, managed to box in scribe that side out there and then down the bottom we just put a couple of angles in there riveted it to the side and then we can put some plates in and it will completely fill that corner I do love working with this aluminium it's clean it's tidy and it's not too difficult to cut and when it's done it looks a million dollars bingo <laughs> panelled out all lined up look at that now beautiful and that lovely all boxed in that horrible corner it was all twisted and messy so got the end cupboard internals all finished got a nice shelf in there beautiful let's get this one riveted drilled fastened um, and then we can put some more structure in down the back here so let's crack on let's get moving Four. <laughs> going a bit slow at the minute i'm trying and getting uh getting stuck in but it just doesn't seem to be coming along very quickly it's lots of finicky little bits um but yeah, it is we're getting there we're getting there i'm being a bit hard on myself probably lots of faffing and a lot of faffing i'm a bit of a faffer and i we'll get this one drilled riveted all in place and then we'll have somewhere to put the cups i think that's all of them this is a cracking bit of kit got this new milwaukee drill bit that goes into the impact driver but in all these really tight cupboards and stuff where you can't get the drill in it allows you to get it in but um, yeah i'm getting oh it's just nice and light it's so much more easy to use in the drill let's have that out and let's peel the plastic off it now oh we do like peeling plastic off oh that's lovely isn't it? how shiny it is can't believe it's a bit of shiny metal And we're nearly there, nearly get this. This is gonna cover this wheel arch up, get rid of all that unsightly metal that was there, finish it off. Well, he's got that look in his eye again. He's looking at something. Oh God, this means more work. He's gonna make it harder. Do I put an edge on that? I think so. I might take these three out and put a nice edge and trim all the way along there just to give that a really nice, a really nice edge. Get, measured up and get an edge on there. 114. I knew it, I knew it. But it'll be nice when it's got that on there. It'll just take that sharpness off that edge. Because this has got cup stain in it, so it needs to be nice. Arms and stuff are going to be going in here a lot. We don't want no sharp bits to catch ourselves on. Oh, that's lovely. So the next part to deal with is this end piece here that's going to go in completely blank off this side of the cupboard we've got to scribe down this side here um, get it into that corner it's going to sort of drop in here somewhere so yeah let's try and get it back we need a little gap at the top between this top rail which is why that one's slightly lower to get some wires through so um, yeah that that's why we've got that little gap there but we're going to run within this down here a nice plate to finish that ender for the cupboard. Let's see how we get on. So we'll take a base measurement first of, to give us a rough idea of what we need. The widest point on that is to there, I believe. So we're talking 30, 38.2. Yeah, 38.2 and the overall height is 86 and a half 38.2 
86 and a half. Let's get chopping. I right, remember their measurements. Okay, at that point there where we said, so I'll just draw it from the inside, get a line down. There's my lines, like something along those lines. Let's get the saw out, chop it up. <laughs> Measure twice, cut once, and all that. Not me, I'll just go for it. <laughs> Truth, have I gone too crazy with it? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I'll take a little bit more. Oh, we're not far away. We're not far away. Just need a little bit out of where that bracket is at the top. Look. Just need a noggin out of that. Oh, I'm pleased with that. That's not bad, is it? <laughs> Alright, it's just happening. Oh, he's faffing again. Cutting a bit, grinding a bit. Yeah. Oh, I'll tell you what, the sun's out. It's a lovely day. First of Feb. That just shows you how far behind her. I am on my editing. <laughs> um, yeah. Coat's coming off. Coat's coming off. Getting serious now. Just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit there. I plan to just losing that. Just lose that little bit there. <laughs> that little bit. Oh, I'm faffing now again. I'm faffing. I'm faffing. I'm having a little faff. You gotta have a faff every now and again, don't you? What about that? What about that? How are we looking now? Oh, is that a bloody knob in there again? Oh no! <laughs> My little three mil is now four mil. <laughs> right. Come on, baby. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I've got just a millimetre here. That's nice. That's nice. Please with that. Now I can drill it and screw it in. <laughs> Let me drill bit's going a bit blunt on that one. Done some holes though, haven't it? Let's see if this one's got any more. Yeah, loving this little impact driver with the uh, drill bit attachment in it. Yeah. Really handy. And we've got the Milwaukee rivet, rivet gun there. It's just been working like a trooper. It's been fantastic. The difference with the aluminium ones, they just pop straight off. But uh, that's nice. It's really nice. Okay, I just need one down the bottom there. Look that. Beautiful. That's really nice. Clean as a whistle, and we can have as fuse box will be going on here. So we can carry on with the rest of the framework. Riveting, drilling. Just need to secure that up the top there so that it doesn't whack the side of the van and put a dent in it. So we'll get that braced up. Always a little bit cautious drilling through towards the outer skin there, just in case the drill bit goes through a bit quick and puts a little dent in it. But we managed to get through that one okay. We'll pop the clamp off. bit of substance to it once again make sure everything's all square make sure all them stanchions are right if that's wrong it'll make a right mess of it so we've got to get that bit right so with this cupboard here this nice big one in front of the sliding door I'm going into the door frame and I'm going to use the edge of the door shut there to mount to as well so we're going to go through this frame in here and down that that door shut there as well let's get this one pegged in same as before Line it up, clamp it, drill it, rivet it, get them all the way around, super strong and nice and clean and tidy. Got about three different layers in there. 
I get the nice long rivet through this one. Okay, stainless steel ones, hopefully it'll pull it up nice and tight. See if you can see it's pulling this up. This is gonna hopefully we should really pull this up now. Lovely. Took a couple of goes, but she's there. That is, that is beautiful. Another end panel complete. Another side in the cupboard. Bang on to the next one. Let's go for it. Keep going. We keep on going. So we've got an interesting problem to overcome, and that's this auxiliary shaft coming out the back of the gearbox. This would have been to power some sort of compressor in the back of the van uh, for the workmen doing the road works and stuff. But I was just going to box, I was just thinking, oh, I'll just build a box around it. Jobs are good em. But a square box, now I'm looking, it's going to interfere with our cupboard door here. If it opens that way, it's going to hit it. If I open it the other way, we're definitely going to be restricted. So it's got to have a box around it, but now rather than it being square, I'm thinking we're going to have to come in at some kind of crazy angle. So I'm thinking a bit of angle something along those lines and then box it in as a nice chamfer so it's going to be like a bit of a triangular shape a bit more fiddly but i think it's the only way i can't say and even that is still going to it's going to allow us to open the door a bit further but it's still going to interfere with it a little bit i think because if i don't go all the way down with the door we're not going to be able to get in the cupboard at the bottom you know if you had the door higher up it would leave a pocket be a bit of a tricky one but anyway, let's do this triangular box and see how we get on. So we'll scribe it to the floor so we know exactly where we need to be. So we've got a line in there, line in there, and across there. That should enclose everything. Need a little bit of free play, because that does have a tendency to turn, and at its maximum point there, I need to give myself a little bit more on that side, looking at that. So perhaps another, it's there. I'll get that point there. Yeah, that looks about right. Here we go then, let's get the saw out, chop some of these angles up. Got the cross cut there, this is an ELU one. Cracking bit of kit for getting all your angles dead dead right. You know nothing's gonna be left to chance when you use that. And as you can see now, all of this will fit in lovely. I've just cut out a cardboard template. Yeah, looks about right. And we can chop that out of a bit of aluminium. And we're gonna to have to bend this. Oops, no we're not, we're gonna drop it. <laughs> drilling rivet, drilling rivet, that's what it's all about. Let's get, <laughs> look at him go, look. Here we go, now this is the bit I'm gonna to have to bend just to make a nice frontage to it. Keep it nice and smooth. Oh yes. Rivet that in. Yeah, lovely. Another job done. Please with that, looks a million dollars. So I've got this lovely U angle there to, um, oops, get the right one, to create the little guides here to slide the inverter into. So let's get these drilled and attached. Nice. And then the inverter will with a little look, slide into that groove there. Like that. That's nice. We can do the same with the top one. We'll get that one in as well. Scope for moving it left to right, and then we can just peg that wherever we need it as a final, final fix. And then on this panel here, we're going to have the Axiom Garage um, control unit, consumer unit, fuse box, whatever you want to call it. Uh, straight off of Amazon, again, links will be in the description so you know where I've got it from. And helps me out if you use my links. So if we whip the front off here's two screws. 
and that's away and now we can see the gubbins inside those nice little trip relays there and then we can screw this straight through the back we've got three circuits we're going to have coffee machine on one we're going to have the sockets on another and we're going to have the lights on the other so we've got these holes at the bottom which you can break through and then we'll use the domes to seal the wires as you tear these up it squeezes and grabs the wire which we've got this nice two and a half millimeter gauge this is 25 amp wire so we'll run two to the coffee machine and then we'll just run a single to the sockets and um, to the lighting circuit so it's going to look bobby dazzler we'll bang the top ones through so we'll have feeds going in the bottom feeds coming out the top let's get drilling got me old man here come to help me out again i'll hold you rivet and all that oh this is a faff look the rivet has got to go through the back of that fuse box and through this washer to grab it but it's not <laughs> it's not magnetic no, to me it's screwdriver head oh he's faffing again he's faffing again i'll get to get a pair of pliers the old man decides to intervene look he can't wait for me he can't wait he's taking it apart don't do it dad don't do it <laughs> he can't wait look caught you caught you I don't be flying, so. What are you doing? We're taking that off. Oh, you're taking that off. Oh, you lie. Go on, then. You ready? Go on, then. You ready? Yeah. Tim, we're in. We're in it. Who said you can't teach an old dog new tricks? <laughs> yep. Yeah. Cheers. Okay. I'll hold it. You hit it, Dad. Yeah, that's it. You got it. No, hit the fuse box, not me. Okay. Right. He's a good shot with the hammer, though, I have to say. Years of experience. Look at that steady hand. There you go. All right. Should have done this before you. Uh, yeah, stop saying that. Stop saying it. <laughs> I'm not saying anything. <laughs> I bet they're thinking we're an idiot. I'm going start looking at this. Okay. Yeah, I know I should have knocked him out this before we there. screwed yeah. it to the wall. <laughs> never mind, eh? Never mind. Nothing we can't sort out. So on the other van, the power socket, which obviously feeds the van from the external generator, was low down. We had it down the bottom, it gets a bit wet, the salt and the road dirt gets in it. So on this one, I'm thinking we're going to move it and have it high. So we're right out there, we've got a bit of shelter from the rain from the gutter and uh, we're going to get no road dirt getting in there. So let's get this drill through the side of the van. MK. 32 amp socket this one. Lovely. It's gonna rain on us. Three pins in the back. Nice casing, a nice housing there. And then we remove the two screws in the front. And that should slide apart with a bit of luck. Oh, it's coming. Yeah. Oh, it's just tight. It's tight, here it comes. There we go. So then we're going to attach that to the van and then obviously that's going to slide back in there. Oh, it was tight, wasn't it, that? So we'll drill a hole through the back. Big enough to fit two wires through it. We'll use the uh, hole cutter as well there just to make it nice and big, get it big enough. So we need the hole in that to be big enough for two of these to go through it. Yeah. Wicked. Oh, don't do it. That lovely paintwork. No, we're going to put an hole in it. Come on. Here we go. <laughs> oh, and that chomper. Look at that chomping through there. My best fan. Oh, my word. What are you doing to me? 
gaping hole in the van. <laughs> then we can drill some holes for this, this plug, four holes it takes, and then we can rivet that to the side of the van. I'm going to use the nice soft aluminium rivets as well, so that they don't uh, bang it up too much. Well, it'll save the water coming in the top, getting through the holes, and yeah, getting inside. Following the, the the wires need to be sealed as well, so we'll get plenty around it. And we can bang those rivets in, get that fixed up nice and tight. Now we need to get some wires fed from the fuse box up to that connector plug. There's two two big nice wires we need to get. Uh, Rooted round. Main feed, sockets. I think we'll have one more for the lights. So we'll get the length of the cable right. So it's going to come through the socket hole at the top. Then it's going to come up over the top, down this side. Yeah, we go. And we can feed it all through this box section. So there's plenty of room in here to, to hide these cables and all this is going to be lined anyway so it'll keep it all out of sight. Got a bit of welding rod, I'll just poke it up. Up the, the back there, just bend that a little bit. And where it's coming out the top here I can take that, take the end of the wire to the rod. pull straight through now. Feed it in the top, pull it out the bottom. And there it comes. There we go. That's one of them, we'll get another one through. And then this is going to come round, go up, up into the fuse box. So here we go, yeah, just the same again. Repeat, <laughs> carry on, just keep on feeding these wires through. So now just mark this out. I want that to come in through the base there. It's going to come up through the bottom. It's going to curl round and then go into the top of this breaker here. So we just need to figure out where we want a nice sort of loop there coming in. So if I strip it back to here, then uh, we should be about right. Now I've got to be careful, I don't want to go through the insulation. So I just want to break the, break the outer insulation. I don't want to go through the inner insulation. You see that's splitting now nicely. And we'll do the same with that side. There we go, we're through. some nice wire out of that. We'll do the same with the other one. Yeah, just get that outer sheath off. It's a bit tight. I've got his little adapters here, which we want to go through, through the bulkhead there. So let's undo that. I've got his little seal. Go through those two there. So that's nicely undone. It's going to go that way around. We'll slide that over the top, poke the wire up into the fuse box. So I've got the wire coming up. I'll slide the little nut over the top. That's now sitting down the bottom. And we can screw this up. And then when we're in the right position, we'll wind this up and it'll clamp it. So let's make the same with the other one. Lovely. Nice. And then we can screw these, these up and clamp these wires into place. Yeah, that's lovely. And that's got those 
Nice. So as far as wiring this fuse box up, we've got neutral coming in here. So we've got us two blues are gonna go into that port at the back there. We've got a live feed, which we've got as brown wires there for. They're gonna go into the live port next to it in there and then the earths are going to come round here and screw up into that bar at the top and that's his main live feed into the fuse box done so we just tidy these up and get his routine right so i cut them two back nice slow where we're going to have them about about there i think we'll strip them back Them up. Make sure that's undone, which it is. So now, along those pliers, just so I'm not grabbing it right, I get hold of that, and then I'll shove it down straight in that hole down there. At the back, right down inside that, and then we'll do that up. There we go, and that one is grabbed nice and tight that's as neutral feed in let's have these earth ones out of the way we'll get them coming round I'm going to go over there somewhere we'll get both of them going into that one Uh, like that. That's that one done. We'll top that over there out of the way. And then there's two lives. And I like to give myself plenty of plenty of messing about, so we'll go to here. Strip those ones back as well. Drop them in as well and do them up. There we go. So we've got live, live one here, neutral there, earth up there. Then we'll have 
coffee machine, sockets and lights. And that just leads us back to connecting up to the 32 amp socket on the outside which is dead simple. We just pull the wires through, get the length right, strip them back like we did on the fuse box, take the outer sheath off, revealing the wires, strip them back, twist them up. So on the back of the plug here, we've got live, neutral and air. We'll just connect it all up, much like we did with the other one, like I say, just uh, get it all nice and tidy, get the length right. So that is going to be that way up like that. With that bit on the bottom, that comes in there and that goes on the top. So the air points downwards, get it sealed again and blab this up here, make sure that's all so we stop any movement or chafing. So I have to slide on this, this top bit. There we go. Nice 32 amp socket fitted to the side of the van. Yeah! <laughs> oh, it's getting carried away already. Well, thanks for sticking with me on the video. Things are really moving on. We're getting there. Everything's coming together slowly but surely. Got loads more stuff to come. We've got all the finishing off. We've got the worktops, the cupboards. We've got everything to finish. We, we're getting there, but it's a slow process. Plenty more to come. So stick with me. Like I say, drop me some comments. Love your comments. Always do. Um, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. <laughs>